Hello, this is the National Weather Service in New York, New York office, and in this video, we're going to do a quick review of the morning thunderstorms on Tuesday, April 8th, 2014. Many of you on Long Island and parts of Southern Connecticut may have woken up early this morning from these thunderstorms, and we're going to go through a quick explanation of what caused them and a little bit of an evolution uh, of our radar data and some lightning data to show you how things evolved early this morning. Here is a surface map at 2 a.m. and what you see is a low pressure area across the Ohio Valley and just southeast of the Great Lakes. And that low pressure d draped a warm front right across uh, the Mid-Atlantic and just south of Long Island at this time. Three hours later at 5 a.m. that warm front is now located right across parts of Long Island and that is serving to enhance vertical motion in the atmosphere to create precipitation and also an area of m very very minor instability aloft just enough to get a few thunderstorms to, to to develop some lightning strikes to develop within some of the heavier rainfall which we'll now show you so what you're looking at here is data from our radar which is located at Upton New York at the Brookhaven National Labs and Anywhere where you see the blues and the light greens, it's generally a light rain. The darker greens, yellows, is more of a moderate rain. And the darker oranges and reds is a heavier rainfall. And basically across the area at this time, we just had some scattered areas of, uh, of light to occasionally moderate rain with some heavier rainfall across parts of New York City and also parts of southeast Connecticut. And we're going to step, step this through now, and when you see on this screen uh, any minus or plus show up within some of these areas of rainfall, those are lightning strikes. The negative is a, uh, uh, the minus is a negative cloud to ground lightning strike, and the positive is a positive cloud to ground lightning strike. So we're going to step through this. Generally, we get a, an update from our radar every five to six minutes, and we see here generally moderate to uh, locally heavy rainfall moving across parts of New York City and also again across southeast Connecticut. We don't really see any lightning strikes as we step through this. We're now at uh, 431, but I do draw your attention to a little bit of an enhanced area just south of Long Island or uh, Nassau County here. And as that progresses to the northeast here by 4:43 a.m., we start to see our first lightning strike detected right across the border of Nassau and Suffolk County as we follow this cell or thunderstorm to the northeast five minutes later is now located across western Suffolk County with some lightning still detected and that continues over the next um, several minutes as it continues to the northeast by 5 a.m. there's still some lightning uh, occurring there uh, by Smithtown Bay uh, and towards the Long Island Sound and then by 506 that cluster has now moved over the sound uh, no lightning being detected at this time but you do see sort of a general area here of moderate rain uh, embedded in uh, with some heavier rain as well and as we move this forward just a little bit more in time this area continue move, continues to move to the east with not really any lightning just just a moderate to locally heavy rainfall overall as it continue to move across southeast Connecticut and Long Island but what you will see here by 554 a.m is another area of heavy rainfall developing across northeast New Jersey and this will quickly move to the northeast with several light cloud to ground lightning strikes being detected there near the New York Harbor and then this moves into southern Queens and Nassau County and by 623 a.m. Uh, we detected seven lightning strikes one a positively charged cloud to ground lightning strike over southern Nassau County uh, so this could be a time when many of you may have woken up from some thunder and heavy rain and then this continued quickly to the east-northeast with several cloud to ground lightning strikes continuing as it moved uh, into Suffolk County um, and those lightning strikes continued and then this this cluster sort of split one area went to the north and then another area developing across the south uh, south shore of Suffolk County we had a couple cloud to ground lightning strikes over the sound and also the south shore here um, with just some heavy rain and then this this system continued to move um, at least this cluster here continued to move across the sound just south of uh, New Haven and Middlesex counties with several lightning strikes there just off the coast uh, with generally just moderate to heavy rainfall continued to move east and then um, here it's about 7.30 a.m. 
we got some lightning in uh, New London County, a positive cloud of ground lightning strike, and then also on the North Fork of Long Island, a couple cloud of ground lightning strikes there detected in some of the heavier rainfall, and this continued to progress to the north and east as that warm front continued to move to the north. We have another positive lightning strike here across the northern part of New London County. And then this, this cluster continues to move to the east-northeast. Yep, there's another lightning strike here detected at uh, 8 a.m. across southeast New London County. And then that cl cluster and general area of enhanced moisture and lift moved more to the north and east here in the next uh, half hour. And we start to see a decrease in activity across our forecast area. So we just hoped uh, this will be a little bit of an educational uh, um, video for you, what happened this morning, why there was some lightning and thunder around the area and where it happened and what it looked like on our radar. And uh, we thank you for watching.